for tuning in to another video with yours truly, Erica Yvonne. And for those of you who it is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel Erica Does Life. So, as you can already tell by the title of this video, we are going to be talking about daily affirmations. I don't know if you guys love affirmations, but I love, 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 love positive affirmations. And today we're not just going to be talking about daily positive affirmations. We are actually going to be talking about seven biblical truths that you can speak over your life daily. Okay, there's nothing better than being able to speak the word of God over your life. It's so, so important. Number one, it just combats the lies of the enemy point blank period the enemy is always seeking to destroy us okay we always have to stay on guard and part of us staying on guard and taking care of ourselves right um, taking care of our mental health is us guarding our hearts and our minds because the enemy is always seeking to come at you with these nasty intrusive thoughts or negative self-talk and how do we combat that how do we combat the enemy period we always combat the enemy with god's word it is the sword of the spirit and it is the absolute truth the only truth that you should believe okay so we're going to go over seven daily affirmations that every Christian should be speaking over their life, okay? Or rather, seven biblical truths you should be speaking over your life, okay? So let's go ahead. We're just going to jump right into this video, okay? First affirmation you should be speaking over yourself is, I am a child of God. You are. You are a child of God. You're his child, point blank, period. Once you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, you are welcome into God's family. Even though sometimes you might not feel that way, again, with the enemy making you feel like you are a, I don't know, spiritual orphan. This is something that you should speak over your life um, and know daily that you have a heavenly father okay who is watching over you who has so much for you so much love and i don't want to say too much because then we'll be getting into the other affirmations but you are his child and you are a part of a royal priesthood okay when you are welcome in the family of god and you are his child then you also should know that you have a wonderful support system and your brothers and sisters in christ okay I am your sister in Christ. I support you. I love you. And that's why I'm making this video because I want you to be able to feel loved and know that God loves you because I hardly think that you are watching this video by chance. If you're tuned in, it's because God wants you to know all these biblical truths, okay? And he wants you to speak them over your life. So the scripture, because we got to back up everything with the word of God, okay? That's how we do over here. So it's John 1 12 and it says, yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. You're a child of God. All right, so moving right along because we just gonna go ahead with this video. Um, I hope that you guys are writing this down so that you can later put them on I don't know, post-its around the house, or you can write them on note cards, whatever the case may be, a place where you can visually see them so you can literally speak these daily. And I promise you, promise you, miraculous things will begin to happen with you just speaking God's words over your life, okay? So number two, I am beautifully made. Yes, you are. You are beautifully made. You are beautiful to God point blank period okay yes i don't care what the world has to say what culture has to say right we live in a society where 
everything is about your outer appearance and yes even your outer appearance god says that you are beautiful you are beautiful god did not make a mistake okay so let's hop in to god's word about that all right so the scripture for that is psalms 139 i love i love psalms 139 just all together it's one of my favorite psalms but we're gonna hop over to verse 14 it says I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and thou, and that my soul knoweth well. Okay, so it says you are fearfully and wonderfully made, and marvelous are your works. Like what a marvelous thing we are, person we are. We are already children of God and he made us with such love and care and thought and wonder okay so that's number two don't you just feel better already I don't know about you but I feel better already and we're only at number two okay moving right along to number three I am intelligent yes Yes, you are. You are an intelligent, amazing being that God created. And we are actually going to head over to Genesis, okay? The verse is Genesis 127. So, I'm going to go ahead and read that. So, God created man in his own image. And the image of God created he, him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them. Okay. You are blessed. And you are intelligent. And when we, the reason why that verse I believe is used um, and coincide with that affirmation is because we are made in God's image. Okay. God is not no fool. He's not stupid. He's not dumb. He is the complete opposite, okay? And you are completely capable. You are an intelligent, and again, as we know it already from the second affirmation, that you were fearfully and wonderfully made, okay? And God is able to equip you, okay, with knowledge and wisdom, whatever you need to be successful. That's it. Okay, and number four, I am loved. You are loved by God. You didn't know that? If you didn't know, now you know. You are loved. And for that one, we're just going to go right ahead to a goodie, which I'm pretty sure that um, we all know by heart. Or most people let me not say all because maybe you are watching this video and you don't know this by heart that's okay you learn something new every day okay but we're just gonna go ahead and read this it says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that who be whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life God gave his only son for you, for you. If you ain't know, now you know. For you. Even if it was just for you, he would have done it. That's how much God loves you. He loves us. Okay? This is something that, again, you should be speaking daily. I am loved. Not just that you are loved, but you are loved by the almighty God, the creator of this entire universe loves you. And if you can get this down into your spirit, if you can get all of God's word into your spirit, okay? The word says to write these on the tablets of your heart. Can you imagine how life changing that can and it will be if you start to speak these very things over your life. Life changing, literally, I promise you that. Okay, so we are going to go to number five. I love this one. I love this one. 
it is I have a hope and a future literally this is one of my favorites because every now and again life can beat us up a little bit just a little bit maybe a lot of it life can be hard you you have peaks you have valleys you have highs you have lows Sometimes it could be a roller coaster. I know there have been times in my life where sometimes I haven't known whether I was coming or I was going. Um, and at least that was how I would be feeling. And this scripture would always bring me back. Like it would ground me and remind me again that this almighty God who is the creator of this universe, who created me, he has a plan for my life. Okay, and so the scripture says, and this is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Okay, so let this be a daily reminder that one, everything is in God's control. No matter how out of control you might feel things are in your life or you feel like so many things are out of your control, that's okay if they are because God is always in control. And as the scripture says, he has plans for you, okay? Not for your harm, not for your demise, but for your hope and for a future, okay? And so if you can't remember it, any of these affirmations today please get this one into your spirit i promise you it's going to be life-changing okay this is a goodie this is a really really good one i am forgiven mm. forgiveness i think i might do a whole entire video on forgiveness but this one is something that you should be speaking over your life daily because you are forgiven. You are forgiven. And that's something that the enemy does not want you to focus on. He wants you to focus on everything that you have done before giving your life to Christ. He wants you to focus on even the little mistakes that you make daily. He wants you to hone in on those things right because if you can focus on everything that you have done wrong in your life instead of God's grace and the fact that he's already forgiven you then it can distract you from God's purpose from your life it can make you feel like you are not good enough to do what God called you to do whatever that might be right because you won't feel like oh wow I don't know if I could serve because I used to do this or, you know, maybe I can't share God's word because back in the day I used to do this. This is how the enemy wants you to be thinking about things. This is how, I don't know, sorry. Ooh. Don't need to be, no. All right. Sorry, I had to brighten it up. It was a little bit dark, so excuse me. But the enemy wants you really to hone on your mistakes. He really wants you to hone on in your past. And the Bible just says that there is no condemnation. Um, so we're going to go over to 1 John. And we're going to 1-9. Okay. And that says. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I love this verse. I would love it so much. I'm going to read it again because I really want y'all to get, the, get this deep down in your spirit, okay? Because the enemy, again, like I said, is always trying to attack your mind with negative thoughts and with lies and with deception and manipulation. And this is just perfect to combat that. If we confess our sins, he is faithful. Oh, isn't God faithful? 
He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mm. Just let that sizzle in your spirit. Right. Let that sizzle in your spirit. All right. And the last one, but definitely not the least of the bunch is I am never alone. Hmm. I'm sorry, y'all. When I just, and even though these are simple <laughs> biblical truths, just the thought, just taking it all in as a reminder, it just blows my mind and it just gives me such a peace and such a comfort in knowing that I'm loved by God, I'm forgiven, and overall, I am never alone. I don't know about you guys' life, right? But I can tell you in my own personal life, there have been moments, there have been situations, um, there have been health scares, there have been so many times where I would feel like I was alone. And then I would come back to God's word Right, because that, that's how I fight all of my battles. I combat it with, I combat all lies, all lies from the enemy with God's truths. Um, because it is the enemy who wants us to feel that we are alone, that we have to face our problems alone, that we have to face a health situation alone. Um, the enemy just really wants us to focus on us being small and having big problems but we serve a big God who all of our problems are very small and we are never ever ever alone okay and so the scripture is Joshua 1 9 and it says have I not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever. Mm. I feel like every scripture I read is so amazing. I got this is so good. I, I gotta I gotta read it again. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you. I don't know about you guys, but when I tell you I'm at peace right now, the peace that I feel just knowing, okay, that I am not alone, the world is crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the world has gone absolutely mad, okay? You turn on the news and you're hearing something that is like, what? Or it creeps you out or it even scares you, whatever the case may be, right? We also just survived, for most of us, we did lose some people, but we survived a whole pandemic that just turned the world on its head, you know? And so to know that no matter what, wherever we are, whatever we go through, whatever situation we are in, we are not alone. And God is telling us, be strong and courageous, okay? And, and what I get from that, this is what the Holy Spirit is telling me in my personal interpretation, is to live life intentionally, right? And to be bold in sharing Christ and be bold in going forth because the Lord thy God is, is he's, he's with me. He's with us, you know. So I feel just so much comfort and so much peace in this moment. Just going through these scriptures, going through these biblical truths with you. I literally feel like peace right now. And so that is my goal. That is the whole purpose of me making this video. 
is really to give you these tools, to give you these seven biblical truths so that you can speak them over your life daily. So that when you wake up and you start your day, you start your day off on God's truth for you. So having that been said, I hope that you guys really truly enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you. I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day and please like this video, share it with friends, share it with anyone that you think can use these seven biblical truths and I feel like that's everybody. <laughs> and please, if you not have yet to subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and hit that button, subscribe. Let's do this life together. Bye-bye.